Welcome back. This is part 8 of the platform game Unity tutorial series. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to add a goal, which is going to be a crate in our case. Um, we're also going to get it working so when our character um, gets close to the crate, it will detect that the character is close and it will go on to the next level. So the crate is going to be the, the, um, the goal for our level. Right, so, okay, what, what do we need to do then? Right, so what we need to do is we need to move across the level. So let's just stop it playing for a minute. And we'll move across to the end of our level. Now at the minute, we've just got a saw, a small platform, a jump, a large platform with a lamp, a ramp. Um, we need to put in another platform where we're going to store our crate. So let's put that in now. So if we go to standard assets, <coughs> if we click on 2D, prefabs right we need it to be fairly decent size so we'll go for platform 8 so let's just drag and drop that on yep that'll be okay <coughs> oops pardon me now we also need to put put our pink crate in so let's just put that in um, just about there will be fine right so what we've got then is we've got a box collider we've also got a rigid body so if we play the game now you'll see that the crate falls onto the platform. Now what we want to do is we want to use our crate as a trigger, but we want to use an area just around the edge. So as our character gets close, um, we know that he's found the object and we'll proceed to the next level. Now we need to use it as a trigger, but we can't actually do that because if we select his trigger, this happens. It just goes straight through the crate, which is not what we want. Sorry, straight through the platform, which is not what we need. So, what we're going to do to get around this problem is we're going to add a component. The component that we're going to add is going to be Physics 2D. So, we're actually going to add another box collider. Now, with this box collider, we're going to edit it so it's slightly wider than the crate on both sides. And then slightly higher as well. So, this is the area where our character needs to get to in order to trigger that he's found the crate okay so we need to say that this is going to be a trigger so now if we play the game you'll see that the, the crate stays on the platform and we've got the area for the character to enter okay so now we've got that we need to do something else with the crate as well similar to what we did with the um, with the saw when we change the tag to hazard we need to change the tag for our crate so the code knows that it's a crate so it's our our goal for the level so we need to do something similar to what we did with the with the saw so click on tag we're going to add a tag so click on plus again now this the tag for this one we're gonna, just going to call it crate so add that in click on the crate again change the tag to crate Right, so that's great. So we've got our crate now in the game. Let's go to the code. So, back to the scripts folder. Double click on the health manager. Right, wait for that to load. Okay, so what we need to do then, is we're going to add something similar to what we added previously, but this time, our code is going to be void on trigger enter. Because it's no longer a collision, we're entering an area. So it's going to act as a trigger. So it's going to be on trigger enter 2D. We're going to use something called a collider 2D. And we're going to call it other in this case. So put the brackets in. Right, inside that, um, inside our procedure, and our on trigger enter 2D, I've just noticed a mistake there. Let's change that. The bracket should be the other way. Okay, so that's better. Right, what we're going to do is an if statement. So if other dot tag equals equals the crate. So in other words, if the player finds the crate, what it's going to do is it's just going to print in the console that the crate has been found. So we'll just say crate found. Okay, so just to test to make sure it works. So crate found. So Let's give it a go. So save it, file, 
save. Go back into Unity. Press play. Hopefully it'll work. I don't think I've forgotten to do anything. Right, so let's try and get to the get to the crate now. So up the ramp. Over to the crate. There we go. So you can see in the console. Crate found. So it knows we're in the area. So back to the code again. Let's stop the game back into the code, take out the print because we don't need that anymore because we know it's going to work and what we'll do is we need to load our next level but at the minute we don't know what our next level is going to be so what we're going to do is we're going to include that in the code and within our scene so we need to create a public variable it's going to be of type int and we're going to call it next level num Right, so now we've done that, because it's public, if we save it, go back into Unity, select character robot boy, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that our variable is accessible within Unity now. So we need to say what our next level number is going to be. So we're on level 1, so our next level is going to be level 2. So make sure you press enter, back into the code again. Um, we've linked our variable to our project, to our scene. So all we need to do now is add a bit more code inside the if statement for the where it's checking to see if the tag is the crate. But all we've got to do is add a line, application, dot load level. And the level we're going to load is going to be called level followed by whatever number our next level num variable is storing. So in our case, it's on level 1. The next level number is going to be 2. So when the crate is reached, it should load level 2. Okay, so we've got a complete level now. It's not the most challenging level, but it's a level. We've got a hazard, we've got jumps, we've got platforms, we've got a goal, we've got lives, we've got a character that we can move around, we can make him jump. Let's give it a go. So save. Into back into the project in Unity. Press play. Let's see what happens now if we reach the crate. So let's jump over that gap. Up we go. Big jump. Right. Okay. You see how at the bottom it's saying we've got an error. Now what it's saying is scene level 2 couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been something or other to add a scene to the build settings use a menu file build settings okay so in other words what it's saying is it's trying to load level 2 but it can't because we don't have a level 2 and that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial we're going to create a second level we're going to use a lot of the things that we've created for the first level and we're going to start to construct our game on a level by level basis okay so that's it for now Look forward to seeing you in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.